play Penny here from the Patchwork Angel. Now this is our first video about our Sashiko Club and if you haven't already joined it, we will be doing another intake in June. The Sashiko Club, which um, uses these sample panels and threads, has been so very popular and it is such a lovely thing to do. But there are a few little hints. I just wanted to give those who are already in the club and for you two at home if, if you're already doing some other Sashiko to help you along. In your first pack, you'll get a thimble, some needles, a sampler, a thread and your stabiliser to go behind your, your stitchery, which we put behind all our stitcheries at the Patchwork Angel. But a couple of things that, that you need to know. The thimble is a little bit different to normal. So this is how you actually wear the thimble and it goes into the palm of your hand and the reason it does that is that it's there to protect that palm. So as you stitch, 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 you then can use your palm to push through the end of the needle. So that's going to stop you getting a little blister or a callus there, which is a great little tool. Tell your friends about those, they're a great hint. Now I also want to show you how to undo your thread and there's a little trick to that. So we'll open up a pack of thread. The threads all come in a skein, the ones that we have anyway. A uh, little bit of paper on there, so we take that off. Always keep that and write the colour on it in case you want to get some more. Very carefully open this up, and what we're looking for is the little knot. Let's see if I can do this without making a big mess. A little bit of a mess. Worked beautifully for me first time. There's our knot. So if I just grab that, it's a good shake. And we're not supposed to have a mess, we've got a little mess. Okay, so that's what we've got, our skein. We then hold the knot, take our perfect scissors, or any scissors that you use, but these perfect scissors are just gorgeous on our website. Have a look for them. You'll want some, I guarantee you. Cut through at the opposite end to the knot. Okay, then you ask your friend to hold the other end that's got the knot. I asked my friend earlier, who happens to also be my husband, who holds the camera for me, and we loosely plaited that skein of thread. Once that's loosely plaited, and I stress loosely, you can then take one thread and pull it out as you need it without ending up with a big mess. Isn't that fabulous? I reckon that's one of the best little tips I've ever had. So um, that's, that's one little tip for now. We'll be putting other tips on as we go along and um, hopefully you'll become as addicted to Sashiko as we are. We're going to do the finishing kits. We're still working on the pattern for that. That's going to be so exciting. There's so much happening with that. So we'll talk to you again soon with some more Sashiko hints and a little bit more information.